Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. We are nearing Christmas. And I'm assuming that means we're nearing the end of the game. I don't know. We'll see. But first, let's go ahead and hang out with Futaba. Because I think she's about to level up again? I think? Is she? Let's find out. Yo, Angelus. Oh yeah, I dug up all sorts of dirt about Kanachan. that is. Are you free? I want to talk to you about it. I feel like I can become closer. I feel like my bond with Tabo grows stronger soon. Hang out with her. Thanks. Thanks. Come on over to my room then. I'll tell you. There. Um... So, I looked up Kanachan online, and she's apparently still living in the same town in Kansai she moved to. But she never continued on to high school. I decided to do some digging into why that might be, and, well... The more I dug, the worse it got. Uh. What do you mean? Her parents are in heavy debt due to a gambling addiction. So instead of sending her to school, they make her work to help try and pay it off. Apparently they're still having her model in strange clothes. They're even selling the pictures now. Um, strange how? They're the kind of clothes that don't actually cover anything. How could her parents do that to her? What is it with all of this exploitations of women? That, that seems to be an ongoing theme. It's just constant, like, the exploitation of girls. I, I mean, I get it, it happens, but... Is that really the only thing that they can stuff, I don't know, 25% of the issues in this game? Is there really nothing else? Actually though, Kanachan herself made a request on the font site. Based on the IP and other tracking data, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's her. The post was basically just her asking us to make her parents have a change of heart. But she didn't put their names. Or might be a little hesitant. Or she doesn't totally believe in the Phantom Thieves yet. Either way, I have a solution. I... I found her parents' names in the address book we got way back in elementary school. Kotu Magario and Asami Magario. I've got a hit for them from the MetaNav too. We can fix them. I have decided, Angelus. I want to go to Mementos and change their hearts. We can't let them keep treating Kanachan so horribly, right? <sighs> Please help me save her. I don't know if we have time, but we'll see. Um, we'll show them the truth. Thanks, Angelus. Thanks. Oh, and since you're gonna help me with this, I'll have to return the favor. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I'll look hard, extra hard for valuable stuff when we're in the metaverse. Well, pretty good, huh? Yes. All right. I don't know if we are able to go to Mementos anymore. Finals are almost All over right. and well, we'll see. Treasure reboot. Well, I'll continue. I'll, I'll be counting on you. Let's save Kanachan. I need to help Futaba put an end to this horrible parenting. Oh shoot, it's getting late. Let us adjourn for today. Daughter is just a meal ticket. That's terrible. Hi now! That is terrible. Something should have happened by now. Congratulations on getting through exams, everyone. Congrats! It's finally over. I'm worried about the end result, though. You all did your best. I'm sure you'll be fine. You should have studied all your subjects, though, instead of trying to guess what's on the exam. There's no way I could do that! Ah, uh, the cry of desperation. Exams aside, I heard back from my sister. There's been some progress. She'll be interrogating Shido soon. She also apologizes for the wait, and promises she will manage to build a case against him. Yes! I can't wait to see what kind of news it makes! Why don't we take the opportunity to go out on the town tomorrow? Let's meet in Shibuya at noon and forget about our exams. Yeah, screw exams! Agreed. Well, I'm gonna make like a tree and get out of here for now. See ya! I feel like we need to do some laundry. That's what I feel like we need to do. Oh, and I can level up EY in the meantime. Um, let's do laundry. Let's do laundry. Let's do laundry. And then hang out with EY. Yeah. Um, CD gear. And... What do you want to do? Add another item. Smoke stained armor. And let's do. Um, see here again. Uh, and 
another item, another CD gear. Nothing else to fit in there. Run wash as is. What do you want to do? Call Kawakami. Nice. Hi. Okay. All right. Let's go to the airsoft shop. Yo. Whoa, you look all serious. I don't want to get into trouble, so I won't ask any questions. Just don't overdo it. So what do you want today? I want to work. I'm going to give you a hard time like I promised, okay? I feel like my bond with EY should grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? Are you going to hang out with EY? Let me... <sighs> my own business tend to, you know. Let me go... Buy stuff first? Yo. Okay. Um. Sounds good. Oh my, look, we've got even better stuff. How about protection? Alright. Alright, which one? Oh, we've got even better stuff. <laughs> uh. Alright, well, I'm at least gonna buy okay. a new melee weapon, new gear for. That's what you're choosing Angelus. for that. Sell. So, I'm gonna at least get Angelus because he's the All one right. that's. Alright, you know, which one? R.I.P. Pistol. Rest in pistol. I like like it. Sleep. Medium. Model gun capable of loading enemies to sleep. Don't break it, yeah. Okay. Um, sell it. Why not? And then immortal vest. Okay. Sounds good. That's what Demon's you're choosing. Jacket. You change your mind. I'll buy the ar the demon's jacket now. I'm good. All right. My accessory. Alright, which one? Okay. Let's also get Sounds more good. Madonna up. The answer. Do I like it? Shooting star. Alright. More Morgana. Alright, which one? Sounds good. I feel like I haven't been really helping That's what out you're Morgana choosing? at all. And okay. protector for Morgana. All right, which one? Necomata coat, coat mill warm and a warrior right, necomata. Why not use it to pull a prank? Now let's hang out with UI. Don't forget to add some maintenance to the guns. What's up? Still need something? I want to work. I'm gonna give you a hard time, like I promised. Okay. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with EY? Hang out with him. <laughs> time for you to do some work around the shop, Mr. Gun Enthusiast. Hey, be careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in buying it, let me know right away. This thing's an antique. I'm not gonna sell it to anyone less than a real gun expert. Oh, and about Suda. I heard he got excommunicated from the clan. Apparently his boss found out what happened. Serves him right, huh? Wow. Uh, are you sure he's still alive? Yeah. I think so. Pretty big relief, assuming it's true. I mean, that beep peed me off, but I never once wished he'd up and die on me. The whole thing's been real crazy, though. I mean, Suda used to be the role model for upholding the code. I guess is what he meant when he said times are changing. Oh, hello? Oh, it's you. If you want to talk about Suda... Huh? Wait, what? What are you doing? Hey! You a mother effer. Hey, hold on. <sighs> That the Masa's abducted Karu. What? What? Will Karu be okay? He better be. He well better be, or else Masa's a dead man. That piece of s. He knew that about Suda's failure the whole time. I bet he was just waiting for a chance like this. Oh man, we should hurry. Right, they're over at Seaside Park. I'll grab the keys and lock Shit. up. Come on, let's go. We gotta save his son. Hey, let Kaoru go. Take it easy, Munasan. All I did was give him a friendly ride home from cram school. Ain't that right, Kaoru-kun? Dad, I'm sorry. He said he had some stuff to tell me about you. Then he... <clears throat> Kaoru. Man, ain't he just a great kid? What's your goal here, Masa? And what are you, Moonsan's little errand boy? I gotta admit, though, his shirt and sunglasses are pretty awesome. I mean... Granted, he's about he's threatening, you know, UI's son with a knife. But, you know, credit where credit's due. That outfit, definitely major buko points. But, anyway, back to what we were talking about. Wait, I remember you. You're that weirdo from the diner. Hey! I said let Kaoru go. 
F off, I heard you the first time. So what are you gonna make me do? Great question, you know whose modded guns you were gonna give Suda? It'd be real nice to get my hands on him. There's a lieutenant spot open now that Suda's gone, but I still need to prove my worth before I can get it. All right, and you're gonna help me do just that. <laughs> Sorry, Masa, but you've got some real uh, time in. We just broke them all down, there's nothing left. You think that's gonna dissuade me? You know, I know everything. You know I know everything about Karukun's situation. <sighs> what? My situation? Dad, what does he mean? Don't you remember what I told you in the car, Karukun? About your dad? About what he thinks of you? Right. I'm just a burden, aren't I? That's it, isn't it? Tell me, Dad, I can handle the truth. <sighs> that ain't true. I'm trying to protect you, Karu. Hey, this family BS is real touching and all, but we're supposed to be negotiating here, remember? Why don't we start with the delivery date? The sooner, the better in my book. Shit. You be. Oh, don't give me that. None of this would have be happened if you didn't go and take that brat in. I knew it. Everything really is... I knew it. Everything really is my fault. Kaoru. You need to trust your son. Angelus. Hey, what are you two chatting about over there? Yo. Kaoru, listen. There's something I've been keeping from you for a while now, and you're probably not going to like it. Truth is, your imperial parents didn't die in a car crash. You were abandoned by your mother when you were still a baby. That's why I took you in. Believe it or not, I was actually part of the Yakuza back then. What? Oh man, I can't believe you really told him, Moon. He's not lying, Kaoru. From what I heard, your mom tried to sell you to just to us just so we could get our hands on some easy drug money. Sell me? Yup. Then when Moon here wasn't buying, he just dumped you and ran. She just dumped you and ran, and that's how you ended up with y with a Yakuza dad. Pretty crazy, huh? Ah, that's a relief. I've been trying to hold that in all day long. I couldn't wait to see the look on your face when you found out. Man, this is hilarious. Boo hoo, how sad. Ha 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 ha. Enough. All of that might be true, but it's in the past now. I'm not a child anymore, and I'd never let a stupid secret like that get to me. Huh? So what if my mom dumped me, or if my dad was part of the Yakuza? We might not be related by blood, but we're connected by the gecko. So you know what? I don't care what I have to s you have to say about us. I'm me and Munishai Iwai is my dad. Oh, as a new dad, I'm so happy to see this. <sighs> Attaboy, Kaoru. Listen, Masa, let's put an end to this right now, right here, right now. We can start fresh. You seriously still don't get it, do you? Kaoru-kun's... No, Masa, you're the one who doesn't get it. You really effed up this time. Oh, there's Suda. Oh? Suda? Suda, I, I mean, sir. Don't give me that. I know you ratted me out to the boss. You've never been good at keeping your mouth shut. N no, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. And what do you think you're doing waving that knife around, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Your, your kid's got guts, Moon. Your father, like father, like son, huh? No. Looks like it. So what now? Well, I'll start by making this idiot repay his debts. I haven't thought about much, thought much about what comes after. All I really know is, this is where we say goodbye, Moon. <clears throat> Take care, brother. Let's go. Are you okay, Kaoru? Yeah, I was a little afraid, but it's all better now. Heh, <laughs> honestly, I'm surprised you stayed calm through all that. Guess you're mature and quicker than I even realized. Hmm, he's a cool kid, huh? <sighs> he's right... Hey, right he is, though he ain't much of a kid anymore. You know, I've been so busy making sure he doesn't end up like me that I forgot to see who he's actually becoming. Heh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm only just realizing this now. Heh <laughs> heh. Appreciate it. And it's all thanks to you, kid. I appreciate it. For real. Feels like my bond with EY is growing even deeper. I'm happy that we're at least got a prank nine. I'm happy. Alright. Yes. Oh, hey, all that excitement made me super hungry. Why don't we go back to that diner? <laughs> you seriously eat on a whole nother level. You might even end up taller than me someday. Let's go. Come on, let's head over there. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Do I l the three of us enjoyed a peaceful dinner together. I love that. That was a great story arc. You might had a cool story arc. As a, as a dad myself, I appreciate that. Hi. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Unyielding vest, gambler shirt, 240 wrap. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks.
something's not right. The Phantom of Fushianda website isn't busy at all. This doesn't make sense. Why? I mean... Mayu's Masayoshi Shiro got taken down. People should be posting comments left or right about this. The silence makes no sense at all. Is it because it hasn't made the news? Ah, oh, it's so obvious the Phantom Thieves are responsible, though. It's because they're brainwashing the masses somehow. They're brainwashing everybody's hearts for however reason. However that works. The news is taking talking about how Shido won by a landslide. There, they announced the poor health of their leader, Masayoshi Shido. As such, the special diet session was postponed, along with Shido's inauguration as prime minister. Postponed? They should be firing him. Exactly. And wait, poor health? This is completely different from what my sister told us. I heard he barely slept during the election campaign. I don't blame him. He's not going to step down now, is he? Will this country be fine without Shido? Yes, this country is not going to be fine with someone like him in office. How can people still believe in him? I have no idea. They're... What the heck? The Phantom Thieves are being treated like, well, like they never existed. How is that happening? Something's up. Goodness. No link among the change of heart incidents. Only coincidental psychiatric disorders. The Phantom Thieves only use those rumors to their advantage. This is preposterous. Who would believe such things? They're sheep. They're all sheep. But the person saying this is a famous researcher. And even the Ministry is saying that's how they determined the situation too. The Ministry of Magic? When's Shido gonna make a comeback? Honestly, I don't think anyone else but Shido can handle times like these. What's going on? No matter how you look at it, this isn't normal. Yeah, it's as if the people in reality have become distorted. What's happening here worries me, but the only thing we can do right now is wait and see what happens. It's almost Christmas though. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. What do you mean I can't question him at this point? Mr. Shido is in an extremely unstable state. I can't allow you to get in contact with him. He may officially have to undergo a psychiatric evaluation at this rate. We are at the cusp of making a case. Do you know how much trouble we've gone through to get this far? I'm just doing my job as a doctor. Even if Shido was behind it, do you plan on convicting a central figure behind such a historical change? Yes. What? Don't be ridiculous. This is a country governed by law. You still want to protect him, even though you know what happened to the man previously at your post. So, you plan on taking the head of the nation to court? You Why need wouldn't to take she? a break, Nijima. This is I'm not right, you and you know it. Case, especially since it's rumored you have ties to the Phantom Thieves. What? If I recall correctly, you still aren't married, are you? What does that have to do with anything? You'll be on leave for a long time. Why not look for a husband uh, while you're at it? What is it with all of the misogyny in this game? Ah, uh, it really drives me nuts. I mean, I'm not a girl, obviously, but dude, if I was a girl, I would be so upset by this game ten times over in several places. Why don't you go find a husband? That's a better use of your time. The assembly of Shido's case is in danger? We know he doesn't need a psychiatric evaluation! His lackeys must have pressured the others around him. It means there's far more people who'd be in trouble if the truth came out than we imagined. Isn't there anything we can do? Sis said that the assembly for a case may be possible if the general public wants Shido accountable. The general public is brainwashed. Even that chance has been destroyed with the manipulation of the mass media. They made it clear that the argument itself was a cult, even claiming that it never happened. <sighs> Fake news at its best. As a result, the Phantom Thieves are still labeled as criminals, even after all that's happened. It's a storm of criticisms online, too. People are saying to catch the remnants and execute them. This is crazy. At any rate, let's wait for my sister. She should be arriving here soon. 
Everyone's being tricked so easily. Why the hell did we risk our lives then? If Shido isn't judged by the law, everything we've done will be treated as if it never happened. Moving the entire country however they wish by controlling people's cognition? This is no different than being inside a palace. Mm hmm I'm sorry. I gathered the best of the best and fought for a case. But as Makoto must have told you, it was denied. That is stupid. At this rate, it won't end with just Shido's innocence. This trend will continue spiraling down. There's even the possibility that crimes using the metaverse will advance onto a national scale. But that's not what I'm here to tell you. We're in danger because we know the truth. It's only a matter of time before we're apprehended. It wouldn't be odd if they were to charge in now. This makes no effing sense! Sis! There's nothing more I can do with my resources. Then it's up to us, as usual, to fix this problem for all you all. That's why... I want to ask for your help. I wondered if there was any way you could do something one last time. I know that I'm in no position to ask this of you. That doesn't matter to us. So what are we gonna do? Should we change the hearts of all Shido's followers? Even if Futaba were to research all of them, it'd take time. Hmm. There's too little information. We can only target individuals. Are we no match against the national power? What about Mementos? Mementos is like everyone, right? Everyone in... Isn't that what it is? Mementos is like everyone's palace, basically? Mementos. Exact. See? I called it. We have to go to Mementos. If we use Mementos, we might be able to do something. There's something we can do there? Like I told you before, Mementos is the palace of the general public. That's what I said. It's the source of all distortions, and is maintained by the people's mm. collective unconsciousness. Good thing we spend a lot of time going down there. Wait, do you mean that there's a treasure even in Mementos? And if we go after that... The collapse of Mementos should affect the public as a whole. The state of society would change too. If everyone's hearts grow to hold Shido responsible for his actions, things might start going our way. That's a bold plan, but an interesting one. Sounds good to me! But if we're gonna do this, there's one thing you all need to realize. What's that? To begin with, why does something like the human cognition exist as another substantial world? The reason for that is most likely sleeping within Mementos. We'll be destroying that, you know. I don't see where you're going with this. It means the metaverse goes the with it too. The human cognition will lose substance, so you can't sneak into people's palaces anymore. Right, we won't be able to do any of that stuff so anymore. So if other criminals appear, you won't be able to steal their treasure and change their hearts. Oh yeah, well that's just what we're gonna have to happen then. It means the Phantom Thieves will be going out of business. Uh, I mean, we're reaching the end of the game anyway. It's a good time to do that. Good way to end it. We'll have to discard this way of life. No. I mean, I would be okay with that, honestly. This way of life is great I while it think lasted. we need to do this. I mean, we're the group who's reforming society, right? What do you think? As our leader, you lose your powers if Mementos is erased. Will you still do it? Absolutely. We have to. Fine by me. Yes, for our justice. That's right! You guys have all grown, huh? Alright. It seems there are no objections. Did you come up with a plan? Whether it succeeds or not is another story, though. Miss Prosecutor, looks like this is gonna be our last job. Mm-hmm. Last job? The rest is up to you. Get Shido for us. We're racing the metaverse. The rest is up to you. Once we accomplish our duty, we entrust the world to respectful adults. <laughs> we're doomed. Based on the track record in this game, we're doomed. That is our condition for accepting this job. This is a deal, then. That's certainly a heavy condition. But very well, I accept. I swear to make Masayo Shishido stand and be tried in the court of law. Besides, my pride won't allow me to be continually saved by you all without doing anything in return. Perfect. We'll be counting on you. Looks like it's decided then. 
<laughs> so Jiro's You're the leader, cute. and this is officially our last mission. Come on, say something. I'm going to miss this. We should be careful. Let's fix this country. We already said that before, though. <laughs> That's fine. We're doing it for real this time, after all. Let's make Japan great again. We don't have much time, right? We should carry this out tomorrow. I'm counting on you guys. Tomorrow. No matter what happens, you better see it through. Okay, so we've got a job tomorrow. Well then. Well, tomorrow's the big battle. Better get some rest, serious rest. Really? Tomorrow? Hey. Let's go to sleep for the day. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey. Go to bed already? Lay out sleep. Good night. Hey. Yeah? Actually, never mind. You must be tired. You can't just... You can't just do that. What's up? Honestly, you're amazing. There's definitely something special about you. I, I mean, I am the main protagonist, that is, so... Yeah. You dodge everything the enemies throw at you like it's your destiny. Uh, that's what save files are for. You know, when I fail. So it doesn't look like I actually, like, dodged everything. At first, I just thought you were going to be a useful tool for me. But now, this is where I belong. You thought I was a tool? Morgana. Um, are you sad about that? Well, maybe in regard to this attic place. But this is where I want to be. It's not like me to say all that embarrassing stuff. But still, I think it's fine. For tonight, at least. I guess this Morgana's strong trust in me. All right, are we max? Did we maximize it? I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the magician, granting thee infinite power. Perfect. Transforms the persona of the mythological trickster. All right. Yes. All right. You can now fuse Futusunushi, the most powerful persona of the magician arcana. Zoro is now going to become. Who is that? A new power burns within me. All right. Morgana's persona Zoro has turned to him into Mercurius. Oh, Mercurius. Interesting. Evade Elec. Triples evasion against electric skills. Um, crazy. Yeah, crazy situational. No thanks. Crazy situational. We already resist electricity, so... We should rest in preparation for tomorrow. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. I can't keep them open any longer. He's repelled such an ordeal, and this guy's still not being rewarded for it? If gods really do exist, they're being too hard on him. Right, exactly. I have to do this on Christmas Eve day? I have everything comes down to Christmas Eve days when I'm working. How do you like that? Go figures. Hello. The fruit this delight, inmate. We gave you words of praise, but we take them all back. Why? The source of what was hindering your rehabilitation. To think it would be the ignorant masses to which you tried to prove your integrity. Did they themselves not show elation for those who are unseen? Despite all that, they now say you do not exist. They toyed with you, yet none take responsibility. The distortion of man's world is endlessly deep. Fixing it may now be impossible, even with the appearance of a trickster. M master? Hmm? <gasps> 
It seems this is the limit of humanity. Uh oh. This is n uh, things that are getting a little tense here. Uh, but we're gonna f see what's going on in the next episode. So thanks so much for watching, and until next time, love yourselves, love each other.